Hello and welcome to the Fedora Files. I am Gregory Fedora and with me is my paranormal, passionate pal, Chip Stetson. <laughs> How you doing, Greg? I'm doing great. I'm doing, today I am drinking the blue milk from Star Wars. Actually, it's I just want to shout out to Fordham Lee. It's their blueberry swirl whiskey liqueur cream. And it's actually pretty good. It, it's really? emasculating to look at, but it tastes great. Um, and I just want to shut down because I want to get them on my show. And maybe if they see that I'm drinking their stuff, they'll come on. But, uh, you know, that probably go really good if you poured it over like ice cream or something. Oh, like yes. That. I, I think you could actually even probably make a blueberry pie with it and have a little Ooh. kick to it. Oh, that know. would be. Well, yeah, but ice cream would be great. But we're oh, not yeah. here to talk about whiskey this time or <laughs> or desserts. We're actually going to talk about one of the most prolific, I guess, uh, stories, paranormal, folklore, tales that is pretty much found in every state in the United States. Almost in and, every state, to be honest. It seems like they're everywhere. Yeah, it, it's the cryberry, cryberry, cry, <laughs> I, I've been drinking too much. It's a crybaby <laughs> yeah. bridge phenomenon. And <laughs> so you know this story, and I, I, I know some of it. I, I've actually been to one of the crybaby bridges. Uh, but I found a couple in Maryland, and I was going to talk about them. But tell us, what is the, the story of the Crybaby Bridge? What, what can you well, tell us about it? There's three different things that need to happen that all of these Crybaby Bridge stories have in common. It's uh, One, it's a bridge, whether it's a pedestrian bridge, uh, a bridge for cars, or a railroad trestle. Um, at some point, uh, a woman is carrying a baby. Might be the mother, might be somebody else. And the third thing is, Somehow the baby ends up in the drink. Either the mother throws it in because she doesn't want the baby anymore, or they have to jump into the river because there's a train coming at them and they can't get out of the way. But somehow the baby dies. Now, after all this happens, legend has it, if you go to this uh, bridge or railroad trestle or what have you, at midnight and you're not in your car necessarily, you have to be away from your car, lights off, and you go to this bridge, you can actually hear the baby cry. And it's supposed to be very spooky, very uh, uh, creepy. And Well, nothing's more creepy than hearing, you know, yeah. I don't know, uh, children ghosts or baby yeah. ghosts cry. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. just creepy. Yeah. Well, yeah, hear, hearing a, a cry in the middle of the night, in the middle of a woods by a bridge, that would be freaky, you know. Uh, yeah. Just crying, a child crying is kind of ominous now there was a a, a gentleman his name's uh, james e willis and he um grew up in new york mm -hmm. and while he was growing up there he, he learned about four different crybaby bridges that were in the state and he thought they were interesting didn't really think anything of it then he moved down to georgia and while he was in georgia he found out that there were crybaby bridges there as well but when he came to ohio that's when he found out that Ohio is probably the capital of crybaby bridges. He said there are more crybaby bridges in Ohio than probably, well, I don't want to say the rest of the country, but he said there are quite a bit, over 100 or so. And um, like I said, all, all stories have the same three qualities. Uh, a lot of them have different things that you have to do. Um, there's one where you have to turn your car off, you have to, uh, your lights in the car, and then you walk out there because you never want to actually drive out onto one of these bridges turn off your lights and get out because some of them are still in use so you don't want your car to get hit you know a lot of them uh you go to the spot the bridge isn't even there but you can still hear the baby crying because it's just an old bridge they had to tear it down um there's a few places where they say after you're done you know hearing the baby cry you go back to your car there's hand prints and feet prints all over your car like a child's climbing all over your vehicle, trying to get into it. So there's a lot of different stories, but they all have the same premise. They're all uh, tragedies. Baby dies, maybe even the mother. And when you go out there, uh, you can hear the baby cry. It's just very creepy. The, the one that's closest to, to where I'm at right now, it's off of, uh, it's called Jacoby Road. I don't even think the bridge is there anymore. But not only did it have a crybaby bridge, but uh, like we were talking earlier uh, off camera, it was also known for satanic rituals and cults and stuff like that. They said that if you drove out there, people would chase you and, you know, try to hunt you down. So, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, other legends that go with some of these uh, uh, places as well. But 
Uh, the primary one is just the baby, the crying, and the bridge. Yeah, I mean, why do you think people uh, tell these tales? What, what what do you think drives it? Is it just to be well, scared? or? I think that that has a lot to do with it. I mean, I think uh, some of these are actually based in real life, and then they just blow up. I mean, people talk about the story, and then they're like, oh, I was there, and I heard this, and then other people want to experience it for themselves so they go out even if they don't hear something maybe they'll say that they did um now these places where they say that they take place aren't necessarily haunted locations even though you know they say that you can hear the baby you don't want to go out with your emf recorders or you know um anything like that it's not necessarily a haunted spot so it's not some place you want to you know go out and record and you know try to talk to ghosts and things like that and especially with some of these actually be, still being in use you know you don't want to take a chance of getting hit by a car or you know just getting injured climbing all over the place you could fall break a leg break your neck you know so you just have to be careful when you're when you're hunting these things down but it's i think it's more of i don't know it's kind of like bloody mary you know just something for people to do go see you know try to experience for themselves and then, you know, it just picks up, you know, one person has that one location. Well, you know, maybe somebody was visiting. They brought it back to another place and say, hey, you know, and they started their own lunch. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I like now I did research in on Maryland's area now that mm -hmm. I found two that seem to be prominent. There probably are others, but these are the most prominent two. Uh, one is in a Mitchell Mitchellville, Maryland, uh, and it's mm -hmm. called Lots Lotsford Vista Road. And, and it's, a, it's a, they say it's kind of a creepy road because it's very windy and like, it's almost like a one lane road. So like, if you get on it, you're kind of, you're on it. And there's a bridge there that goes over, uh, it's the Lots Ford branch, which is a little creek. Uh, the story there is a bit, like you said, it's very similar. It was a, a mother with her child. The baby wouldn't stop crying and the, the husband wouldn't help. And it, it, the story, it took place I guess they're saying it was around the depression era and the, the husband didn't have work and was kind of a drunkard and wasn't helping at home with the child. So the mother just tossed the baby in the Creek and now you can hear the baby crying all the time. So it didn't because, stop the baby from crying. Yeah. Cause that's what you did back then, you know, during yeah. the depression. Yeah. You just tossed your babies in the river. I, I think yeah. that seems to be like uh, also one of the comes in a lot of them took place. Like the, the legend started supposedly in that era, like in the, like the depression, the ones I've read. Well, uh, uh, many of the ones that I was uh, looking at took place in the late 1800s. Oh, or really? early 1800s. So, I mean, they, they range from all different points in history. Um, but 1800s were by far the earliest point that, you know, mm -hmm. You, we found these stories from but uh it wasn't just necessarily the the depression i mean that they, they went quite a few uh decades before that as well yeah now the the other one in maryland it's uh which i think next time you're over on this part of the country we got to go check this out because it's got a lot of stories i it's on this road called governor's road and it's uh the governor's road bridge and it's actually considered the most haunted road in the whole state of maryland Really? And yeah, and uh, it's in Bowie, Maryland, uh, which is a an hour or so from where I am located. But we we should go check it out because they like they again they have the story of baby crying if you stop and listen. But I mean, it goes even for like it, the bridge goes over the Potomac River. I think that's how you say it, Potomac. Uh, Potomac. I don't know something like it. it begins with a P, but um, it's the P River. And so <laughs> I hate to see what that smells like. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's awful, especially in the summertime when it gets really hot. But yeah. uh, but so the, the other stories there, like you were talking about satanic rituals and stuff, uh, they mm. also claim to see a, a, a goat man, you know, around this bridge. So uh, obviously goat man kind of conjures up, you know, Chimbra. image. Yeah. Images of the devil and stuff. You know? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, <laughs> well, you know, that's uh, that's like uh, another road here in Ohio, um, mm -hmm. over by Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. Um, mm -hmm. there are ghost lights, it's supposed to, I believe it's a, a motorcycle. You drive out to this road at night in your car, and then you flash your brights, and then far away, all of a sudden, a light will come on and it will start chasing you. 
and I've heard a number of people that have actually seen this light and got terrified, turned around and, you know, drove away as fast as they could. Some of them saying that the light, you know, came up very close and they couldn't see anything but terrifying. So, th I mean, this, these are actually firsthand um, uh, experiences that I've talked to. It's something that uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to try it just yeah. because. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, going into a haunted house and trying to communicate with ghosts is one thing. Being chased down by them, that's a whole different level yeah. for me. Well, that, that, sure. that, that's a whole no, no, another level of spirits out there. Like, I don't, you know, that's that's like an angry ghost, you know. That's but you know, if you if you make a way out here, we'll have to head out there and give it a try. Yeah, we get, I'll let I'll stay in the car and you flash lights at it, and then I'll drive away and come back for you and you tell me what happened. Okay, I'll have a camera and see uh, what I can find out as it drives by or <laughs> yeah. never see me again. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll find the camera. We'll make a Blair Witch movie out of it. And, you know, there you go. <laughs> the first one, not the second one. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, And I think there was even a third. So You know which, what? I, I think there was. And the fact that I'm not really sure if there was or not tells you how well it must have gone over with people. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> know, Burkittsville, where it's supposed to have taken place isn't too far we'll have to head over there when you come there's a lot of oh. little yeah and this summer i am planning on coming out for a week or so so uh we got a lot of places that we can visit and have fun with oh definitely now so do you think it's one of these things like you said some of the bridges go away and they're not there anymore right. so <clears throat> this is kind of like uh the 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 the, the tales are going to continue on and on and on like people are going right. to and I, I feel like eventually there's going to be new crybaby bridges, you know, that spring well, up. You know, there's always going to be people throwing babies over a bridge. So, uh, yeah, I can see that happening. But, no, um, like I said, a lot of the bridges, even though they're torn down, some of them actually rebuilt bridges. And, you know, you can still walk on them. It's just not the original. Some of them are original that you don't want to walk on because they're so old, <laughs> decrepit that they could fall apart on you. And then some just, don't they're not there anymore it's just like a, a you know a crevasse or whatever and uh you can go up there in the general area but still hear the baby so um i know there's one in yellow springs that they ended up tearing down and building um a bicycle bridge over because it used to be a railroad trestle so now okay. instead of it being a railroad trestle or just a bridge now it's a bike path uh bridge but it's still there it's just not the original now but is that, a, is that one a crybaby baby? that yeah, that might be that the one I, I've it. been to. Like, okay, I, I think I've been that. You said Yellow Springs, right? And it, yeah, it's, and it's like a big long bike path now. And yeah, it used to be a bunch of railroad tracks, and all through Ohio, they tore up all the railroad tracks that they weren't using anymore, paved them over, and now they've got hundreds of miles of bike paths all across the state. And in fact, some of them go into other states. I mean, it's just everybody in Ohio is trying to be healthy. <laughs> During, gotta, during the summer about that winter weight <laughs> nice nice but so th this is really fascinating. like crybaby bridge has always been like one of those fascinating tales and, and well, you it's just been around forever so yeah. everybody it, everybody knows knows of one i mean even if they've never been there they've heard the they've heard the tale like i said it's kind of like bloody mary you know everybody knows the story not everybody's you know tried it or gone and seen it so yeah. Now just, uh, I, I have an assignment for you now. Okay. If you if you feel you're brave enough, okay. You go, I would love for you to do research on like you mentioned Bloody Mary. Uh huh. Re, and then when you come, at, we'll do a podcast and, and discuss Bloody Mary. And I think there's an offshoot of that with I think it's Candyman. They did. Well, that was they, the movie. I'm not sure if that's <laughs> like what if well I know it's the movie did they did candy man but i'd be interested to see what the differences are between the movie of candy man and the legend of bloody mary yeah. and how they and where the story of bloody mary came from yeah um, no I'll, don't tell me if you already know because you may already know but. <laughs> well i've done a little research but uh there's i mean i haven't found where it actually came from yet yeah. but i mean it's just been more of a, a small um small research thing i've been doing in my spare time just because it interests me 
but I haven't really been able to get down to the tooth and nails of it. So no, I'll absolutely do that. We'll come back and uh, we'll talk about Bloody Mary. That'll be yeah, fun. You, you, you'll have to let me know when you're ready, when you've got your research and we'll set up a big mirror and you can say it three times and I'll see if anything happens. Well, yeah, you set the mirror up behind you and then I'll say it into the camera and I can tell you if I can see her behind you. I was thinking the other way around. <laughs> I, I, okay, we'll see. What, you, you we'll, could, uh, you, rock, paper, scissors for it. Well, you, you could do one of those ghost adventuring fights with a spirit. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm sure I'd come out on top on that one. <laughs> it's always good to provoke an, an, <clears throat> a demon or entity you can't see. And can't get rid of, yeah. <laughs> that's, all, that's the smart move to do when you go into a haunted place is to talk smack to someone you can't see. Yeah, I never understood it when those people did that. I just, I want to shake them, you know, just like, what are you thinking? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I want to thank you for coming on because I always oh, enjoy having pleasure. you and uh, talking about these things and I appreciate it. And uh, I, I hope uh, to have you back very soon to discuss more. And yeah. when you do some more of your adventures, you can come on and tell me about it. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. And for all of you listening and or watching, thank you for tuning in. And as always, stay safe and keep searching. Check out FedoraCRT.com today.